Well, what do you think? Do you think that Frida would approve of giant crocheted flowers on the shoulders of her dress? I think she'd like them. Hello, it's nice to see you today. The dress is one of the new collaborative projects that we've just started as part of my social stitching group that I have at the Moberly Arts and Cultural Centre in Vancouver. There are all kinds of really lovely programs in this sweet little art centre that's located in a park. And don't you just love it when you find an adult swinging on a swing? Have you tried swinging on a swing as an adult? <laughs> and here's some of the other artwork around the center. This mosaic is out by the bathrooms and there's another mosaic that leads to the front door of the center. As I mentioned, the Moberly's in a, in a park and they have what they call a community garden and it's really a food forest that welcomes all kinds of visitors. And oh my goodness, these roses just smelt divine the other day. And this plant is called an Oregon grape and those little berries are going to ripen up and be really sour and tasty. This plant is a salmon berry and it has those beautiful fuchsia flowers and the berries look like peachy salmony colored blackberries and they're very yummy too and this plant has these teeny tiny little plums on it. In addition to the food garden, the Echo Park Film Collaborative, they make all kinds of old-fashioned analog films and they use plants from the garden too to develop their film. Don't ask me how, I don't understand. Let me get back to the weekly stitching group that I host at Mobley. I've already mentioned our hexagon project a few times and I finally started stitching the pieces together and I think they look quite fabulous. A couple of weeks ago we did some fabric painting and these are some of my samples of stitch on top of painted cloth that I took in. They're all works in progress but I took them in as examples of things that people might like to do. We always seem to have such interesting conversations during our time together. Using your skin cut to add with a 3D discounted. This was a woman who's very tactical. She's got <laughs> tiny spots and flowers and <laughs> I would not be doing it for the nails. And a couple of people have already started working on their painted pieces. These are Amrita's flowers. Aren't they beautiful? I love the way that she combines the two together. And Joanne said she saw a bird and a bird has emerged from her piece. They're just fantastic. Here's another one of our collaborative pieces. As I mentioned, Moberly's in a garden. So this is a collaborative garden that was made with bits made by so many different people and they're all fun and quirky and things that we would like to see in the garden or in our community. And the coordinator of Mobley co kept commenting that it doesn't say Mobley anywhere, it doesn't say Mobley. So one day we all got together and spelled out Mobley. And I'd like to bring your attention to this piece. I don't actually know who made this because it was just there one day when we came back. No one has ever claimed it. And I don't know what the intention of the person who created it was. If you don't live in Canada, you may not know, but May 5th is Red Dress Day in Canada. It is a day to honor and remember the many, many Indigenous people who identify as women who have been murdered or gone missing in recent years. It started out as an art project by Métis artist Jamie Black in 2010. An artist hung empty red dresses to re represent all the missing and murdered Indigenous women. I haven't I haven't been doing land acknowledgements on this channel, but maybe this is a time to start. So here is my first land acknowledgement. I respectfully acknowledge that I live on the unceded and stolen territories of the Coast Salish people. Specifically, my home is on the lands of the Slaywatooth people, the people off the inlet. And here's another view of the finished quilt where you can see that we've left that red dress just as it is.
And I'd like to tell you another, about another red dress project. This one was conceived by a UK-based artist who employed embroiderers from all over the world in many communities around the world to create this quite fantastic and beautiful red dress. And then one thing led to another, and now we have our own collaborative dress project. Somebody had this dress. All she knows about it was that it was purchased at the Frida Kahlo Museum in Mexico, and it was used in a performance art piece where it became stained with some ink. I happened to be looking through this book about the weavers who live in Teotitlan in Oaxaca, Mexico, and I noticed that there was this picture of these little girls who were wearing blouses that are so similar in style to the dress that we have. And I thought I would just share that with you. And as you can see in this picture, our dress has already had a few things added to it. It also has a book that accompanies it. And whoever adds to it can document whatever they've done. And you'll notice some of the pages are more completed than others. The book travels with the dress inside a pocket there. And the dress also has the bags. The book travels in the pocket off the dress and the dress travels in the bag and the bag also contains these other bits and pieces that people can use to to sew on if they don't have any of their own things. And my contribution to the dress is these giant crocheted flowers. Now they were not crocheted by me, but I had been saving them for a yarn bombing project. But then I thought, oh, they're perfect for this dress. And I definitely think that Frida would have proved off giant flowers on the shoulders off her dress. And notice my green top there. Yes, I did buy that in Mexico. And it is also in a similar style to the embroidered dress project. And then I thought, we need something more than just a book in that pocket. The book might be lonely. And the pocket owl was born. And there you go, there is my contribution to the dress. And I, I couldn't resist adding this little brooch with the flowered skull. And here I am doing my best to model the dress and my little pocket owl there. I quite like it. And I did actually make the pocket owl, but not recently, some time ago. But I think it's a nice, nice addition to the dress. And all there's left to do is for me to add my notes about what I did on the dress. And then I'll be passing it on to the next person. And I wonder what it will look like the next time I see it. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you again soon. And if you're in the Vancouver area, check with the Moberly Arts and Cultural Center. We're usually there on Wednesday afternoons from 12.30 till 2.30, and anybody is welcome to join us. But we do break for the summer and other school holidays, so do check check with the center before you just show up, like those people who made the red dress there, in case we've had to cancel for some reason.